Hey guys, today we gonna talk about WLAN. So, first of all, what WLAN is? W here stands for wireless and LAN is local area network. To understand better, we have to compare it with wired LAN, its preceding technology. Wired LAN means everything is connected with help of some cables like Ethernet cable. If you want to connect a single PC, then it's good for you but if you want to connect multiple devices like mobile phone, printers and laptops then it's not a good option because eventually, you run out of ports in your modem. And some devices don't even have Ethernet port. So, what you'll do in that case? You have to switch to the wireless network in this case. It removes the constraint the need for a wire. A user can bring many devices to connect to the wireless network. To understand how data in the wireless network sent, we have to understand a little bit about physics background. Data in wireless network travel through free space in the form of alternating current in the section of wire which is an antenna. The current then create the electromagnetic field and travel at a right angle to each other. The wave which forms by electromagnetic field should keep changing which mean continuous cycle up and down. Electromagnetic waves don't travel in a straight direction. Instead of that, they travel in all direction away from the antenna. At the received end, the process is reversed and the device induces an electrical signal and if everything is working right, then the device accepts the signal. Now, the waves created by the electromagnetic field is measured in a unit called frequency which means how many times the waves travel up and down in one second and denoted by Greek symbol nu. The complete up and down is called one cycle. Frequency is measured in hertz or hz. There is a frequency spectrum in ranging from 0 to 10 as the power of 22 hertz. The wireless technology which we used in our daily life fall in microwave and radar frequency spectrum and use 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. Keep in mind that not the entire 5 GHz band uses for wireless technology. Now, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band further divided into the sometime called channel to avoid overlapping of two different frequency for two different devices. Each channel has a different number and is assigned to a specific frequency. The frequency range needed for the transmitted signal is called bandwidth. Now, these RF signal are physically difficult to measure as they travel through the empty space so, wavelength is a unit of measure how much waves travel through. The wavelength is denoted by Greek symbol lambda. Wavelength is inversely proportional to a frequency which means higher the frequency, the lesser is the wavelength which is why 5 GHz band cover less area than 2.4 GHz band. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.